for finding a solution to the question of financial supervision that the Commission had already sorted out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, on behalf of the Greens, uh, Mr. Convendit. Uh, Mr. President, dear colleagues. Mr. President, colleagues, I'm going to continue along the lines already developed by Guy Verhofstadt. It's clear that for four months we were wavering. It's quite clear that we made mistakes. It's quite clear that when you hesitate, uh, you lend more momentum to speculation. So I think that those responsible in council uh, ought to admit that. They're saying that they should say it's our fault, uh, Mr. Sarkozy, Mrs. Merkel, you know. Uh, you know, everybody, everybody else could see that there were steps to be taken immediately, and, and they didn't do so. Second thing, I think we should understand one thing. What the Papandreou government should do is, is virtually the impossible. And I call on ECOFIN, on the heads of government, to, th to think for a moment. They're not able to set up reforms back home. Look at the time it's taken France to reform its pension system. Look at the time Germany is taking over this. And now we are asking Mr. Papa Andreou to change everything in three months. You are completely crazy. And the proof is what is happening now in Greece. We're not giving Greece or Mr. Papa Andreou the time to reach consensus in the country, to reach consensus. Nobody in Greece identifies with the state. It's a system of everyone for himself. You might regret that. This is, you know, uh, the result of years of, of uh, uh, corruption in Greece, of, of, of these practices. But you can't decree reform like that. Look at what will happen in Spain if there are problems. Look at what will happen in Portugal if there are problems. How are you going to address this? Mr. Barroso uh, knows something about this because that's how he lost the elections. No, no, he's never lost an election. Um, now, what I'm trying to say is we have to have a sense of responsibility. We cannot ask Greece to do the impossible. Some time ago, we heard somebody saying, I want my money back. I get the impression that we're saying, you know, I want to make money on the back of Greece. Somebody must be saying that, because that's what's happening. If you're uh, borrowing at, say, uh, half a percent or one percent, and you're lending at three percent, then you're making money on the back of Greece. That's unacceptable. And Europe can take initiative. Ski for Hofstadt was right when he talked about a European monetary fund, uh, an investment and solidarity fund, in order to raise a European loan. We have to change the treaties. Comrades, here in this parliament, we have the possibility of taking an initiative to change the treaty. So let's not wait for council. They're incapable of taking a decision. Let's take the initiative, a common initiative by this parliament, to amend the treaty so that finally we can have a European monetary fund that can address, can take on the speculators. We can do it. Yes, we can. And there's something else I want to say about how uh, what is happening in Greece is being managed. I would like to ask the Commission to involve DG Employment in, in managing all of this, to see what is actually happening in Greece. And I call on the Council to say to the IMF to involve the International Labour Organization uh, in what is happening in Greece, because what we're talking about are human beings. There are problems of jobs at stake. Uh, it shouldn't just be finances that dictate. We should think about solidarity towards uh, the workers. So the DG employment and the ILO ought to try to act as a corrective uh, to those who just decide on the basis of uh, f uh, financial concerns. And one last point. We can help the Greek budget in a simple way by taking an initiative an EU initiative uh, in favor of disarmament in the region, a political initiative. Greece and Turkey could start disarming. Uh, we could take a political initiative to get uh, Turkish uh, troops, I said Russian, but of course Turkish troops to withdraw from uh, northern Cyprus. Uh, 
we, we're being hypocritical, really. In the last few months, France sold six frigates to Greece worth two billion and a half, helicopters worth more than 400 million, uh, Rafale fighter planes, uh, uh, one uh, Rafale fighter plane for a hundred million. Uh, that's the price of one, but I don't know how many they sold, but uh, nearly three billion worth. And uh, Germany has sold six submarines, or will be selling them in the next uh, few years to Greece. That makes another billion. This is complete hypocrisy. We are giving money uh, to Greece to buy our arms. I urge the Commission to report to the European Parliament and to the Council on sales of arms by Europeans to Greece and Turkey in the last few years, so that at least we have transparency about this, so that at least we know about this. And if we acted responsibly, we should guarantee Greece's territorial insecurity. Uh, Greece has got more than 100,000 soldiers. Uh, Germany's got 200,000. I mean, it's completely disproportionate. A, a country of 11 million inhabitants with 100,000 soldiers. Asking Greece to do this would perhaps be a bit more effective than asking them to reduce the wages of somebody who is already on a pittance. So uh, let's call on the Commission to be a bit... Thank you very much, President. Now, on behalf of the uh, Conservatives and Reformists, Mr. Epping. Thank you, President.